Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I uh, hope you guys are having a wonderful and amazing day just like me. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make developer products inside of your Roblox game. So basically, developer products are basically game passes you can buy multiple times. So you know how in a game like Jailbreak or Adopt Me, you know how there's like a cash menu to where you can um, buy cash in, in game with Robux? That's basically, uh, that's what developer products are. Uh, that's what they let you do. It's basically a Game Pass you can buy multiple times. So, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how to actually prompt the purchase for developer products. Um, and how to make them work inside of your game. <clears throat> Alright, excuse me. Alright, so what you're going to do is you want to click on Game Settings. Now... Um, if you have not published your game already, uh, there will be a publish button, and then when you scroll down, there's there's going to be a creator option, which if you are are creating the game and not a group, then keep it just like that, but if it's group, you have to put it on the group, but don't worry, it is, okay, sorry, um, it is not going to show up on your group games until, um, you actually make it public, um, which I'll show you uh, how to here do it in at the end of the video as well. So what you're going to want to do is once um, it may exit you out of game settings, but just go ahead and click it again. Then it should be something like this, the name and description, and then you got your game icon screenshots and videos here. So yeah, um, this uh, some of this will definitely be different. What you're going to want to do is go to monetization and then um, there's private server access, and then there's also paid access. So like paid access, in case you don't know, is like they have to pay like 25 Robux, like Bloxburg, in order to play the game. So anyway, um, for developer products, all you gotta do is just click create, and then you can see that creates one here. These cannot be deleted, so be aware of that. But um, yeah, so just go ahead and enter the name of it. Um, we're just going to name this 100 coins. And then we can just keep it at 1 Robux because we're not actually going to do it. So now when we go back, you can see that the proc name is going to be 100 coins and the price is going to be 1 Robux. When you click save, um, sometimes it will go away. But also sometimes uh, Roblox Studio will glitch and it might say error on saving. So if that's the case, then what you're going to want to do is click on file. Um, where is it? Close file. And then, uh, make sure to save. Um, and it'll bring you to here. Go to your game. Click the three dots. And then click open place page. And also, if you want to make your game public, you can also click the three dots and then click make public. So, yeah. And then, just drag that over. Alright, so then, it should bring you to your game page. Click your three, click the three dots. And then go to configure this game. No, excuse me. And then go to developer products, and then you can see that it's here. So yeah, but here's the thing: when it's on here, you ha it has to be a name that's not taken. Um, so like you can't just put a hundred coins because like first of all, I I just took it, and second of all, um, it just yeah, it can't be a name that's taken. You can just put random characters and stuff, I guess. Um, but yeah, I would recommend just, uh, putting it as, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, you can also create them here. Um, hopefully Roblox Studio will fix that update soon. Just go ahead and go back into your game. So yeah, after you do that, um, go ahead, go to game settings, and then go to monetization. Get the product ID, so just, um, okay. So <laughs> just go ahead, and I guess you can't highlight it here. Um, I'll just go ahead and go to my web browser and I closed it out oh my god what the heck all right uh it was weird okay <laughs> um so when you go to monetization you'll see that's here um for some reason it's not letting me copy and paste so um I'm just gonna go ahead and go to my web browser for it no d save so I'm gonna go to my web browser to get the ID. So in order to get the ID from your web browser, um, you know, like it, you know, what will happen. There's an ID thing on there too. So yeah, let me just gonna go here. Go to and developer box 
right. So yeah, then copy. All right. So yeah, just go ahead and um, copy this ID, and then there might be others for yeah. <laughs> so anyway, once you're done with that, um, yeah. So now what you're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and make a screen GUI. It's gonna be quick. Um, yeah. So I'm probably gonna, just gonna uh, edit this part out. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and edit this part out. You go ahead and make your screen GUI, and then um, add in frame, add in a frame and a button, um, and then another button on the inside. So yeah, <laughs> I'll see you when I'm done designing. Okay, guys. So I am done designing. Now we can go ahead and get right into the scripting part of this video. Um, so on my toggle button, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna insert a local script. We're gonna say, um, not. Not that. <laughs> Scripts dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function. Let's do that. Yep. Now we're gonna say if script dot parent dot parent dot frame dot visible equals equals true. Then script dot parent dot parent dot um frame dot visible equals false and then we're going to do another enter and then now we're going to say else and then enter and then we're going to say script dot parent dot parent dot frame dot visible equals true so basically if it if the frame is already visible then when you click the button it's going to make it not visible but if it but if it is not visible then it's going to make it visible so yeah anyway so we can also go ahead and just play and test out the toggle button um you can see that it does work ignore ignore this i've uh i was like working on like uh, something else <laughs> I'll, I'll actually just go ahead and delete it right now it's fine Yep. Alright, so now we're going to script our button to prompt the purchase of the developer product. So in order to do that, just go ahead and insert a local script into your text button. You can go ahead and, uh, yeah. You can also go ahead and exit the other local script because we're not going to be messing with that anymore. Um, but for this one, just do control A and backspace. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function then these parentheses and boom just like that so now we are going to say game dot marketplace service colon prompt product purchase and then we're going to do um game dot players dot uh Oh yeah, okay, sorry. That local player, comma, and then we're gonna paste our um developer product ID right here. So yeah, so now whenever we go ahead and um click this button, it's gonna prompt our developer product purchase. But here's the thing, when you click when you click by now, um you can you can see that um you can keep doing it as many times, but it's not actually doing anything. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to make it do something right now. So what I'm going to do is because I already have my plugin um, in order to enter in my leader stats, that was on uh, how to use my plugin uh, video. Um, just let me go ahead and do that. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and just uh, use my plugin real quick so I can just create quick leader stats. And then now we're going to enter another script in here that says... Um, Actually, we're going to go and name the script. We're going to say dev products. You can also name it dev products handler. You can name it whatever you want. It does not matter. Um, I did not mean to do that. Yeah. No, not leaderboard. Here. Yep. Okay. So um, now what we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and clear the output. All right. So inside of this, we are gonna put game dot marketplace service dot process receipt, and then we're gonna do equals function 
then parentheses. Now inside these parentheses, we're going to put receipt info. I don't know if I spelled receipt right, but still. And then we're just going to do enter. Um, so yeah, now it should look like this. So what, what now what we're going to do is we are going... Oh, sorry. Um, we are going to make a variable for our player, and we're going to say local plr equals game dot players colon get player f um get player by user id and then um what we're going to put here is we're going to put receipt info dot player id so um yeah so basically, the player ID is is their user ID of who um, bought the dev product. Sorry about my Discord notifications. So yeah, now we're just gonna put enter, and then we're gonna say if um, receipt info um, dot product ID equals equals, and then we're gonna paste our um, developer product ID. And we're going to say then, then enter. Now, um, whatever we put in here is going to happen to the player. So I already added in my cache script and everything. So what I am going to do is I'm going to give myself um, 100 uh, cash. It, it said 100 coins on the thing, but it's still fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to say um, PLR dot leader stats dot um hey just so you know um this may not work for you um it, it should if you use my plugin that should always work um if not just go and contact me on discord my discord is in the com is in the description not comments <laughs> so yeah so i'm gonna put player plr dot user i i mean dot um leader stats dot cash dot value equals not equals equals um but we're just gonna so we don't need the id anymore so we're good on that so i'm just gonna copy this line and then just do that and then now we're gonna do so basically what you're gonna do is um you're gonna put plr that lawyer stats that cash that value um and then we're gonna do the same line and then we're gonna do plus 100 so they should give us 100 plus cash. I don't know if I typed the receipt info. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I typed in the receipt info dot product ID right. I'm not sure, but it does make sense to me. So um, you see our cash right here. So whenever we click this and then we click buy now, you can see that um, it gives us 100 cash. So yeah, it did work. Um, another thing that you do want to do. Um, so you also want to do re return and then enum which enum in case you don't know is basically like a big drop down menu with tons of stuff <laughs> so yeah um let me clear this all right so yeah we're going to do enum dot i think it I forgot what it was. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, yeah. Pro product purchase decision dot purchase granted. So basically, when you do this, it sends the message saying, "Hey, your purchase was granted." But if you do not processed yet, then that means like if they say you had like some kind of check button or something like here let's go ahead and look at this oh let's go into that and then yeah so um i don't know why i didn't do it that time i'm not completely sure um but yeah but basically um you just do dot purchase granted and the reason why you do that is because in case roblox glitches um you're forcefully in the script saying like hey the purchase has been granted so like it will say this once they click by now so yeah so in case roblox glitches yeah that's all you have got to do 
Um, so yeah, that's basically how you do developer products in this video. Um, and if you want to do multiple, which of course you might, just go ahead and copy this, the if statement and everything inside of it. And then just go ahead and paste it just like that. You can paste it as many times as you want. Um, and then you can also change the cache or whatever, and, or whatever you want here. Also change the IDs that are right here. So yeah. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and clear this script because I don't need any more. So yeah, I hope you guys had uh, have an amazing day. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel um, if you haven't already. Um, sorry, I thought someone was in my throat. Yeah, I hope you guys have a have a great rest of your day, or if it's nighttime for you, I hope you have a great night. Um, bye, see ya.